let's see a workaround of kind of fooling Data Studio into actually doing it, right? Data Studio doesn't want to do that, but we want to force it to do it. And I call them bridge field, bridge field. Before I talk about bridge fields, let's take a closer look at a data source and the fields within and talk about different properties of a field. Okay. So this is Google Analytics data source. This is from sealwalk.com. It doesn't matter. Both of these two have the same fields within because these are from GA built-in data connector. If I try to edit it, I can see the list of fields. For each field, we can see the field name, its type, default aggregation, and description. We can add a description, I don't know, right? We can add a description and keep it here. It doesn't matter. But something else that we can do, let me find country, country. Something else that we can do, we can change the name of a field here. We can rename it. So instead of country, what else can we say? our country field, something completely different. I can change the name of this field, but everything is still works. So changing the name of the field doesn't break it. And it suggests that, where's our country field? This one, let me remove it. It suggests that there is something else behind the scenes that helps Data Studio figure out that this our country field is actually that country field added to that shop. An internal name, an ID. And there is actually an internal ID behind the scene for each of these fields. That's why we can rename the field without the report being affected, right? And we can rename it back to the original name. And everything keeps working. Now, for the built in fields within a data source, the ones that we get from the data connector, we cannot see the value of that internal field. We cannot see that. But for the fields that we create ourselves, we can actually see. Okay. So now in this one, and in this one, these are based on Google Analytics. Let's try to create a new field. When I want to create a new field, I click add a field. I get field name and I get formula. Do you notice anything else? Yes, field ID. Yep, field ID. For the custom fields, we can see the field ID, which is called underline a random string. Now, this is my test field. And for the formula, I just put one multiplied by one. And this is correct. And now we can change the field ID to whatever we want. Test field. So back to where I was. We can see the field ID. We can see the field ID, which is calc underline random number. And now that we are creating a field, we have the opportunity to change it to whatever we want, like test underline field. And as soon as I save the field, see that I can actually change it. But as soon as I save the field, it will be disabled. It will, be, it will become light gray and I cannot change it. Anymore. So only at the time that you're, for the first time, you're creating a custom field, you can change the field ID. Now, this is interesting because if Data Studio is using field ID, recognize which field is, which is which, maybe we can use the same built-in functionality to fool Data Studio into believing that this country from this data source is the same of this country in the other data source. So let's see how these work. I call them bridge fields. So here, if I choose United States, it only we know filters the GA accounts. But let's go to my Google Sheet and create a new field. I will call it country dash bridge. And for the field ID, I use country underline bridge. Okay. So this is the value I use for field ID in my Google Sheet data source. For the actual value, I want it to be exactly the same as the actual field country. So whatever value is in the country field, I wanted to return it. And that's my bridge field within my Google Sheet data source. I save it. It will be disabled. I cannot change it anymore. Now I can go 
to my demo account, Google Analytics demo account. Here, I also create a field. This time, I call, I call it country underlying bridge 02. And I deliberately am adding 02 because I want to show you that the actual title doesn't matter as long as the field ID is the same. So the titles are different, but the field ID is exactly the same. I have the value of country here as well. So this is the same field. We recreated the country field, but we made sure that the field IDs, the internal field IDs are the same. Now, if I apply, instead of country, our bridge field to the dropdown connector, and I change it here, which one of these charts should be affected? Can you guess that? The ones with the bridge field. Let's see. I choose United States. This one that contains the bridge field with that field ID gets updated. The Google Sheet, which has a country with that same field ID gets updated, but even the same data source with the same data connector, Google Analytics, which doesn't have a field with the same ID, it doesn't get updated. Unless I come here and I create another one, quickly country bridge, bridge 303 country, bridge and country. Okay. If I have the same field in my third data source, again, this will be limited. Isn't it nice? There are times that we have campaigns. So we are following a similar campaign naming structure on a, in a Google ads, in a Microsoft ads, in a Facebook ads in different places. And maybe in the offline sales, we also have the same campaign names, but there are different data sources. One is coming from Facebook, one is from, coming from Google, one is coming from our CRM, one is coming from a Google sheet. And this is the only way right now that we can use a single drop-down menu to filter all of all data sources to show us the values for that entity. Okay. Any questions about this one?